Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you where you can get a full Turkish breakfast here in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. So I'm outside of Coffee Relax which is a pretty popular place here in Bishkek and it serves a variety of different foods, desserts, coffees of course but also it has a Turkish breakfast. For those of you unfamiliar, a full Turkish breakfast has a variety of different foods on one table that includes breads, cheeses, tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, eggs, burek, which is like a baked fried pastry, creams, honeys, all kinds of stuff. So I'm very excited to try it here at Coffee Relax to see what it's like in Bishkek. So I got here very early on the morning, it's Sunday, it's basically no one in here. It's almost right after they open seeing that we're in Bishkek and that they have a Turkish breakfast here and that I've shown you some traditional Kyrgyz foods I wanted to see how the Turkish breakfast here compares to what you might find in Turkey all right so the tea just arrived that's a Turkish tea all right so here we go our Turkish breakfast for one they have a one person and a two person version this is the one person version it looks like we have some bread here, two different types of bread, a cigara burek, which is a wrapped, uh, usually it's feta cheese in phyllo dough, so that looks like that's been fried in this case. Tomatoes and cucumbers, some different types of cheese, some butter, some strawberry jam, some clotted cream, honey, helva, olives, a runny egg, and looks like another type of Berek here and uh, some grapes. So I am, I'm excited to to dig into this. So let's let's go. Let's start with the berek. Let's let's see how that is. You can see the dough is just really flaky there, and it looks like we've got cheese, sticky uh, feta cheese. Looks pretty good. Looks very fresh. You can see that the the dough is very thin which is always a good sign, very flaky. A little bit of oil on the bottom, so let's, uh, let's take a bite of this. That is um, it's pretty good. The dough is really nice. And in a Turkish breakfast, the eggs should always be cooked runny. Mop some of that up with this uh, bread. All right, let's get into this kaimak, which is clotted cream. It is a very common staple for Turkish breakfast that is this bad boy right here. So we'll move these uh, healthy grapes out of the way and the way this works is you basically you want to take the cream which is this it's basically just a lump of cream and you just dump it into the honey like that you kind of mix it around and once you mix it around you're gonna spread that on your bread. And we can see that it has raisins in it too, which gives it some sweetness. A little bit more of that, put that right on top. All right, and this is helva, which is basically sugar. And it comes in a bunch of different flavors and varieties. But this one has pistachio in it. If you're looking for something different for breakfast here, Coffee Relax has a good Turkish breakfast. So this is a really nice way to start the day and a really nice breakfast. Typically in Central Asia and in Kyrgyzstan, you don't have a huge breakfast. Breakfast is not the biggest meal of the day and it's usually not very elaborate. So having something like this is a nice change of pace, especially after you've been in Central Asia for a while and you want a, a little bit of variety. So, cheers. <laughs> so I just got some more bread, I got some more of this uh, darker toast. That is raspberry jam. You can also get a couple of other really famous dishes from different parts of the world which I'm going to take you on a food tour of international food here in Bishkek. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those coming up but Turkish breakfast starting out pretty well. So there you go, that was a full Turkish breakfast here in Bishkek at Coffee Relax. That entire meal, in case we were wondering, with the tea and the full breakfast spread for one person, came out to be about nine and a half dollars US. So it's a little bit pricier, I would say, than the average 
breakfast meal that you would get here in Bishkek. But for that amount of food and the quality of the food, I think it's a pretty good bargain. So now that we've had our breakfast, I want to take you to another interesting spot here in Bishkek, and that is Dordoi Bazaar, which is the largest market in Central Asia. So this is Dordoi Market here in Bishkek. It's about a 20 minute drive north of the city and it is said to be the largest market in Central Asia. Now it is a wholesale market, so goods coming from China, although I've seen a lot of retailers from Russia and Turkey as well here. So a lot of those goods come here and then they get distributed to the stores in the city and around the country and around the region actually. Now what's really unique about the design of this market is it's all shipping containers so there are shipping containers on top and some of the shipping containers on the bottom have been converted into small stores so this is a market where you can come and go shopping and buy clothes mostly although it was said to be very crowded it's actually pretty quiet it's the middle of sunday afternoon and it is very relaxing here you can see the shop owners and the retailers getting ready throwing up some of the goods that have come from who knows where overseas throwing those up in the shipping containers on the top level and then some of the stores on the bottom level have opened because shoppers are slowly starting to trickle in. I'd say as far as shopping for me or for you if you were coming here there's a lot of clothes but it's mostly just the design of this place and just the unique atmosphere of all these shipping containers which makes it interesting. It makes the Osh Bazaar look tiny. It just keeps going on and on and on and it has its own separate map really so you've got to know which section you're coming to. If you take a taxi here they usually just drop you off kind of sort of in the middle area. And like I said, it's pretty quiet right now, but it's just very unique to see all these shipping containers being converted into stores and just sort of see what life in the market is like, where goods are coming in and how they're being stored and how they're being distributed. So thanks very much for joining me on this tour of Dordoi Bazaar. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the Turkish breakfast earlier this morning. If you have any questions about visiting these places or anything you saw in the video, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. And I will see you in the next video.